We're working through 4.1b homework problems. These are particle motion problems, um, uh, PVA problems, but rather than uh, like first semester where we are working our way down from position down to velocity, down to acceleration, uh, we're now using antiderivative to work our way back up, starting with acceleration um, and moving through integration uh, to find velocity and up to position. So uh, we're given that a of t is negative 32 feet per second per second, acceleration due to gravity. So a ball is thrown vertically upward from a height of 6 feet. So we know s of 0 is equal to 6. Our initial position is 6. With the initial velocity of 60 feet per second, so we know v sub 0 is 60 feet per second, how high will the ball go? So uh, we're starting with acceleration. So we want to um, move our way up to velocity and then and then up to position from there. So acceleration is uh, the integral of, um, or velocity is the integral of acceleration. So if we find the antiderivative of uh, acceleration, we can move our way up to our velocity function. So the integral of negative 32, um, remember the derivative of a constant, uh, uh, the derivative of a linear is a constant. So the integral of a constant must be must move our uh, bring us back to a um, back up to a linear. So negative 32 becomes negative 32t, and then um, indefinite integral. We always have a plus c at the end. So our general velocity equation is negative 32t plus c. However, we are given some um, information about velocity. We know v of zero is 60. So if I replace t with zero, I can um, solve for c. So t, uh, 0 plugs in for time, t, 60 plugs in for velocity. So 60 equals negative, negative 32 times 0 plus c. This gives us, makes it 0, so c is equal to 60. So velocity is equal to negative 32t plus 60. This is our specific equation. So once we have our velocity equation, we're going to, move, we're going to continue to find the antiderivative to get to our position function. So the antiderivative of velocity is position. So here's the antiderivative of velocity. We have to go through power rule. So negative 32t becomes negative 32t squared over 2. 60 becomes 60 times t. And then we have a plus c. Um, clean this up a bit. We get negative 16t squared plus 60t plus c. Uh, we can substitute. We have information about our position function. So plug 0 in for time, t, plus plug 6 in for s sub t. So 6 equals uh, 0 plus 0 plus c. So c is equal to 6. So now we have our updated position function. Okay. So now it says, how high will the ball go? Well, the ball is going to go, um, uh, it's going to reach its highest point when velocity is 0. Okay. So let's go ahead and um, set the velocity equal to 0. And when we set velocity equal to 0, uh, we can solve for t. And t is equal to 60 over 32, or 15 over 8 um, seconds. Okay. Now once we have t, we can plug t back into our position function um, to find our specific uh, height. Um, so our height at 15 over 8 seconds is going to be 62.25 feet.